It's time for Stuckman's Scary Movie Night. <laughs> now this is a spoiler filled review just to warn you Big spoilers, if you haven't seen Signs, skip this review. Welcome to another edition of Stuckman's Scary Movie Night. Last time we talked about John Carpenter's The Thing. This time we're going to talk about one of my favorite movies of all time, M. Night Shyamalan's <laughs> Signs. I laugh because now when you say that name, it's not as powerful. And joining me in this special review is my good buddy Mark Ellis over at the Schmoes No. Christian had to fight a dinosaur somewhere on uh, King Kong Island. Hey everyone, it's Mark Ellis on loan from Schmoes No, and I am thrilled to be joining Chris Stuckman's Scary Movie Night. Uh, I love scary movies, I'm a big horror fan. Uh, I do get scared, I'm not like a tough guy, I get very spooked watching scary movies, and luckily I'm in an apartment complex. I live by myself, but I have nice neighbors next door that occasionally would come look in the closet in case there's, you know anything in there. I'm very happy that Chris asked me on this episode because we're talking about Signs. And Signs is one of my favorite movies of this century. Believe it or not, kids, there was a time when you saw M. Night Shyamalan's name attached to a movie and you got excited. You got a jolt just being in the theater awaiting what was going to happen. It, it, it's, it hasn't been that way quite since, the, since Signs, but I liken M. Night's career to a, a pitcher who came out and he was young and he was just a flamethrower, throwing 100 mile an hour fastballs every time he was on the mound. And then he made the village and he threw his arm out. <laughs> we heard a pop, he had Tommy John surgery. We don't know if he's ever going to be the same again. I'm an optimist, so I'm holding out hope. But I did see the last airbender, so you gotta wonder. <laughs> People are aware of the fact that Science is one of my favorite movies, and it also, Science is actually the movie that got me into film criticism and independent filmmaking. And a few people have been like, Signs? Really? Signs? Yes. Signs! I don't know if you ever noticed this, but the Signs poster right there in every single review. When I saw Signs in 2002, and by the way, this is actually the first DVD I ever bought. Interesting fun fact. When I saw that film in 2002, it had such an impact on me because up until that point, I had kind of viewed films purely as entertainment, and I wasn't looking at them from a logistical standpoint. I wasn't looking at how they were made, the craft, the filmmaking, until that movie. That movie I saw five times in theaters, and it made me really start to look at film and how film is crafted, and that's one of the reasons why I owe a lot to that movie. In fact, you probably would not even be watching this video right now if I hadn't gone to see the signs that day. And speaking of people who we may not view in the same light as we used to, Mel Gibson is the star of Signs, and this is pre all the stupid tabloid TMZ stuff that I really don't care about. This is Mel Gibson when everybody knew he was one of the best actors in the business. It was bankable. You knew you were getting a hit when he was in it. So these two forces collaborating on, oh, by the way, an alien crop circle movie movie that's got epic written all over it and it did not disappoint. I saw this movie opening night in the theater with me and my brother went to go see it to this new movie theater that was like 45 minutes away from Williamsburg, Virginia which at that time had a blacksmith shop and that's about it. So we see the movie and we park way out at the end of the parking lot and there's a big wooded area, right? So we see the movie and you know there's aliens hiding in crops and stuff. We were so spooked at walking out of this theater. I'm like, I don't want to walk to my car. There's like woods right there. And I'm trying to do the math. If an alien popped out and attacked me, would I have a water in my hand? Would I be able to get into the car in time? I remember one of the latter times I saw this in theaters, I brought my sister with me. Whenever it would get dark in the movie, she would just freak out and like go over to my shoulder. But at the end of the movie, I remember we were walking outside and it's strange, just like what Ellis said in his story, there was a forest like nearby the theater and I like got down on my knees and I made little clicking sounds and my sister was freaking out and it was just, it was great. Really, the, the reason I like this movie so much 
is is it's half nostalgia. It's largely just the fact that it, it is a movie that made me realize and appreciate cinema. Because as I was a kid growing up, I always loved movies. I mean, Star Wars, The Princess Bride, Toy Story, Lion King. Loved movies as, as I grew up as a kid. Back to the Future. But when I saw Signs, something in me just went... Oh, movies are made by a group of people. And it just made me it just made me think about the craft of making a movie. And that's one of the reasons I really appreciate signs. When people criticize signs is they say, oh, really? Aliens are gonna go visit a planet that's 70% water when that kills them? Uh yeah, they may actually do that. Maybe they're really interested in the other 30% of that planet. Okay, maybe they want oil. Maybe they want to go to Chick-fil-A. I don't know, guys. But there's a lot of times when if you want something really bad, you're going to have to go to a very dangerous place to get it. Look at guys with strip clubs. Every time we walk into one of those, we know there's like 10, 100 things that we're allergic to. But there's also things in that club that you just can't get anywhere else, and we need our natural resources. There's so many great thrills you get with this movie. That's maybe my favorite thing about Signs, is how perfectly paced it is. It is you get a little creepy review. You maybe see something, hey, what was that? And then maybe you see a leg, and you see green on green, and you don't know what's going on yet. And then the invasion starts to happen, and the scene of all scenes in Signs is the birthday party. They're, they run this footage on the news where this is like, okay, now we know it's aliens. There's these kids at a birthday party somewhere in South America, and they get on tape the alien walking across the driveway. And my goodness, usually this is when horror films kind of fall apart, is when you see what this bad antagonist is, and then you're like, oh, that's what Candyman looks like, now we can defeat him. But when you see this creature, you actually are more freaked out than you were during the build-up, and that is an incredibly rare thing in cinema, and that is why I will always have faith in M. Night Shyamalan. That, that scene still, it scares the crap out of me. Some animals around the county have been acting funny. Some of them violent. It's almost like they act when they smell a predator around. Ah! Ah! Ahmad, Nairobi, Bangalore, and Jerusalem. And the Same shows on every station. Every station? reported crop sign in that country in the last 72 hours. As Ellis brought out, a lot of people talk about the fact that, oh, why would aliens go to a planet with 70% water where it's their, the thing that kills them? Here's a couple theories I have. Number one, the aliens may have never encountered water in their life, ever. They may not even know what water is. That may have been their very first encounter with something that is harmful to their skin. Number two, you think about the timeline of this movie. How much time actually happens in this movie? It's really only a couple of days. The movie starts out, there's the crop circle. A couple days later, the aliens are uh, leaving Earth and they're leaving their wounded behind. Within a couple days, they were on Earth and realized about all this stuff, and probably very quickly, obviously, and then left immediately. So, I mean, they were obviously desperate. They left some of their own men behind, as you saw at the end of the film with the thing with the two fingers cut off. They were obviously extremely desperate and looking for some place to survive, some kind of resources, something. As soon as they discovered that it was a harmful place to be, they left. The point of this movie, however, is not the alien invasion. It's the family plight throughout this struggle. It's what they deal with. It's how they deal with it. It's how they come together closer as a family and as a unit. That's why this movie is so brilliant, because it doesn't focus on the Independence Day aspect of the film, which would have been fun too. It focuses on the family and how it affects them, and it's so well directed and edited. I love this movie. It's one of those films that when it's on, you kind of want to turn off all the lights and watch late at night, because it's a fun, scary movie. It's not going to mess with your head too much, but it will creep you out, and it will make you think, I'm not sure if I want E.T. coming to Earth anymore. It's, it's a really great movie, and don't judge M. Night by just his later films. Just remember that the guy could knock it out of the park with signs, with... Even Unbreakable was pretty cool, and obviously The Sixth Sense was great. So, uh, you know, give the guy a chance. Also underrated in the film Signs is the comedy in it. And if you don't think the comedy plays a big part in horror movies, go into a theater and watch one of the paranormal activities and see it, it you need that laughter to kind of it helps people relax and then and then they get they go, they let their guard down a little bit and then the scares are even better you know any horror movie you watch freddy krueger half the time the guy's doing stand up comedy when he's not killing teenagers even the little leprechaun he runs around like a you know like an open micer you know he's not really funny but he's he's trying they're staying in the shadows it's called probing to make sure things are all clear. Clear for what? For the rest of them. Can 
There's a monster outside my room. Can I have a glass of water? James Newton Howard's score is one of my favorite scores of all time. The opening title sequence of this movie is very reminiscent of uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. The thing about Sides' opening titles is the movie starts out so slow, and with titles like that, it's, it's hinting that that type of intensity is coming later in the film. It, it, as the movie builds and progresses, you know, with suspense, you just keep thinking about those opening titles. Like, it's gonna get intense like that. It's like a warning, almost, to what's coming later in the movie. And one of the first independent films I ever made, I was a young teenager trying to remake Signs. So, I owe a lot to the movie, and I agree with Ellis very much on this film, and I think that Ellis uh, hit the nail on the head when we talked about Shyamalan, because I still, I, I the guy has that type of uh, filmmaking in him, and I really think that if he starts uh, directing movies and not writing the script, that uh, it'll be a lot better. Guess what? His next movie's with Will Smith and Jaden Smith, and he ain't writing the script. He's just directing. So maybe he finally realized that. Let's hope. But Signs gets an A-plus from me. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. If I'm gonna schmo Signs, I, I, I have a decimal system where it's very particular, so I don't just go four and four and a half and five, but it, it doesn't even matter. It's five out of five schmoes for signs. I don't give five out of fives to barely ever and it's just one of those movies. Maybe it hit me at the right time. I'm willing to admit that I'm a human but I love this movie and I think it is maybe my one of my favorite alien invasion movies, one of my favorite horror films of all time and it, to a fault it'll make me pay for an M. Night Shyamalan movie. <laughs> Even the last Stairbender too. Oh, did I just say that out loud? I want to thank Mark Ellis. He's a great reviewer and he's also a really good guy. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the Schmoes, no, definitely go check them out. They're worth your time for sure, and they'll entertain you endlessly. Ground forces are being assembled. It's happening. Don't be afraid. It's like war of the world. So leave. It's going to pass. Don't be afraid. They're in the house. Here it comes. Don't be afraid. Thanks again to Chris for letting me participate in this in this with him. I'm always happy to talk to a fellow horror freak, and uh, Signs is definitely one of the ones that's up there. Maybe it's not, you, you don't think of it as a horror movie, maybe it's more of an alien sci-fi movie. This movie definitely has as many scares and thrills and chills as any other horror movie that I've ever seen, not named The Exorcist. Thanks a lot, I appreciate your help Mark, and thanks to my viewers for watching. I will continue with more Stuckman Scary Movie Nights, despite how corny that title is. But, if you like this review, you can subscribe to my channel and get Stuckmanized.